The Trinidad and Tobago Unit Trust Corporation now holds 48.2% control of the local mutual fund market, a 2.9 increase from 2017. For the financial year 2018, the company paid out $249.3 million in contributions to its investors, a 26.3% increase from the year prior. Also this year, we increased the distribution to unit holders in the Growth and Income Fund by 117% from the $36 million in 2017 to $78.7 million, a performance that we're all very proud of. But one of the main challenges for the company, as outlined by Mr. Edwards, is a limited supply of foreign exchange. However, unlike the commercial banks, UTC is not a primary dealer in foreign exchange. And as such, we're not in receipt of an allocation from the central bank. Our supply of US dollars is dependent on what we can purchase from customers and what is bought from other financial institutions. And as you know, the foreign exchange market is extremely restricted. The majority of UTC unit holders at Monday's meeting appeared to be senior citizens. Mr. Edwards said, however, they've noticed a marked increase in millennial investors, helping to grow the UTC's unit hold account to 617,464 in 2018. With the job market also transforming, the executive director said they're placing greater focus on catering to entrepreneurs. Increasingly, our young people are establishing their own businesses and we want to support this country's entrepreneurial sector. How? By offering financial management expertise, creating an enabling environment where they have access to capital and where they have exposure on how to leverage investing for their businesses. Other changes made over the financial year 2018 included the corporation's decision to close its North American fund due to low activity. Janine Brown and TTT News.